Hey Aries, welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you have been here before, this is going to be messages from spirit on this here Monday. What is it that Aries needs to hear? All right, doing this a little bit different, but you know, whatever you're meant to hear is going to come out. All right, so Aries. Well, let me turn into this one. Turn into this one. All right. All right, so we have the inner voice. Thank you, angels, for guiding me through my inner voice. So your intuition is very on point right now. So listen to whatever thoughts, um, whatever's coming through for you and your uh, divine downloads and your intuition. Pay attention to that, your instincts right now. We have you ready for more. Your career is growing and blossoming. Now is the time to make changes you have been contemplating. Number 40. So some of you may be making changes in your career or thinking about it. You may have some type of instinct that tells you that's what you need to do. Let's see, Aries. What's going on for Aries spirit? We have Sewer Mermaid. Your sensuality is beautiful. So this is your own energy. This is uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, as well as Libra and Taurus energy here, okay? For so some of you... Let's see what this is. Grumpy Red Fairy. Be true to yourself. Again, listen to your intuition. If your higher self is telling you to do something, do it. And this is number eight. We have number eight, number 25. This is Pisces energy. Um, this is saying that you're okay with walking away from something. You're ready for more. It could be a career. It could be a relationship. Some of you feel very powerful right now. Very influential. <clears throat> very confident. Okay. Very confident. Let's see. Aries. We have happiness. So you're walking away to your happiness here. Your thinking will either make your happiness or take your happiness. You choose. All right. So then we have. What, how, do, how am I doing this? This way. We have listen. <laughs> People start to heal the moment they feel heard. So listening is very important. Some people have a friend um, who's giving you some advice right now, or this could just be your own intuition talking to you but it's important for you to to listen right now be in receptive mode and listen you're learning right now it's not a time for you necessarily to teach you're being taught some kind of lesson right now so just pay attention to synchronicities we have yield patience number three okay so yeah that's something you need to pay attention to and then we have action number 34 um wow okay so I feel like this is saying to be patient before you take some kind of action here, which is why you need to listen to your intuition. There's something that's going on for you that um calling for you to pay attention to what's going on around you, what's going on within you. And um, before you make a decision, you need to listen to that intuition, but you are ready for more. We have hydrate, and this is number 27. Um, and that's clarified by take a walk, number 52. So some of you, your happiness may be tied to you moving your body more, up in your uh, water intake, watching what you're eating, watching what you're just taking in, period. It doesn't have to just be food. Let's see. Let's see. Let's get some of these. What does this be true to yourself with your sensuality is beautiful? We have the five of cups. Some of you have recently gone through a breakup. Maybe you're not feeling very confident. You're trying to Work on your confidence right now. Five of school. Yeah, that's some type of energy around you. Could be a Scorpio, could be an Aquarius. And then a six of swords. So you move from the five of swords to the uh, six of swords, which is Aquarius energy as well. So spirit is saying you are ready to move on. You are ready for more. You're leaving behind some type of deceptive person. Someone who could have sabotaged the connection with you and broken your heart, all right? This person could have been a bully. This person could have been really negative. Someone you had a lot of conflict with, even, even someone competing with you. Whatever it was, it, it left you with some sadness here, all right? This is the person trying to win at all costs. So it doesn't have to be a love situation. It could be any situation. But whatever the case, you're moving on to calmer waters, all right? You're leaving this behind. You're putting you some distance between you and this situation. You're transitioning, okay? It's fair to say you're ready for more, but you just got to listen to your intuition. So your happiness is what's coming as long as you listen to your intuition. Listen to the people around you who you know have your best interest at heart. Yeah, some of you have a new job for sure. 
You got the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the Star and the Nine of Pentacles. When I tell you your money going to be excellent, your money will be excellent, all right? So you got Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy here. Spirit is saying there's a new financial blessing coming your way. Could be a windfall of money, could be a new job, could be a promotion. Whatever it is that you're trying to manifest is coming to fruition. Your dreams are coming true. This is a wish fulfillment card with the um, the star. This is also a card about healing and being optimistic and having faith in your dreams because they are going to come to pass. And some of you definitely are going to be sexy, single, and very su um, successful. Sexy, single, successful. How about that? That might I might make that the title of your video. Okay, so what is um this patience? Okay, so we have uh, the the high priestess flipped in reverse. This is about your intuition. You got to pay attention, y'all, because there's something here that you're not paying attention to. You got an inner voice with yield and action clarified by the um, high priestess in reverse, which means your intuition is blocked. Six of cups. Some of you could be childhood issues and judgment. Yeah, that's a decision that you have to make. Taking action. You have to make this decision. This is Libra energy. Scorpio and Cancer energy. You have to make a decision here, but Spirit is saying to tune into your intuition. And your intuition may be a bit blocked. So not to make a move just yet. All right. Some of you could be stuck in patterns, stuck in the past. Um, there could be some inner child healing that you need to do here with the Six of Cups. This talks, talks about nostalgia and memories. And, and you could possibly be stuck in the past, you know, but there's a judgment call. There's a, a decision, a final decision that you need to make here before you move forward but your intuition is key so you gotta wait until you get that that know that knowing inside so what is high grade and take a walk we have the knight of pentacles a lot of y'all are just healing be conservative we have the wheel of fortune everything works out for you and then we have the three of wands some of you are just thinking about your decisions this is you being happy and satisfied with the decisions that you make though but you're also picking up momentum making progress here and everything works in your favor you have fate on your side you have luck on your side all right it may feel like it's moving slow but it's moving exactly how it's supposed to be moving so just enjoy it take care of yourself in the meantime as you're going through this transition let me grab a couple of these messages for you and we will be done these are just random messages that might benefit you right now let's see what we got here most likely to succeed creative star people determined and it says you've always stood out from the rest so yes yeah, y'all are definitely going to be in the nine of pentacles energy self-sufficient we have blindsided chaos disaster and a wake-up call i feel like you have already gone through that that's why we have that five of swords and the five of cups something blindsided you something hurt you okay could involve another aries or a scorpio or this could just be your energy coming out here so something happened but it's not going to stop you it's going to be a catalyst to you becoming better and better shake it off yeah so those are your messages aries i hope you enjoyed your reading Time for you to get ready for more. Some of you could be getting surprised with some flowers from someone. Um, <laughs> I feel like your, your life is about to pick up in the best possible way. Things are going to be going exactly as you had planned with the Wheel of Fortune coming out. You got the star. You got a lot of major arcana telling me that things are going to work in your favor. All right. New financial blessings. Just listen to your intuition. It's very important now for y'all to listen to your intuition right now. Okay. Don't make any hasty decisions. Wait until you're guided by spirit to make decisions before you take action. Listen, 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 especially to the people around you who love and care about you and your inner voice. So make sure you're taking care of your health because that helps to open up our third eye as well. OK, those are your messages, Aries. I will see you all tomorrow for Twin Flame Tuesday. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Peace.